Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. Today we are going to be racing here at Chicagoland in the Cars Land Cup series. Uh, you may or may not be noticing a little bit of difference in the entirety, of, like the quality, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but, anyways, uh, first off, um, starting on pole is Jessica in the 88 for. Uh, K and K Racing. Funny enough, K and K Racing uh, won in the NCCRS Chicago race, Chicago Land race, with Pitwa actually being their first win as a team in either series. So they could sweep the Chicago Land races, solidifying their spot as a uh, as a successful team in both series, specifically at Chicago Land. Now here's an interesting uh, little snippet here as well. Jessica is. I believe just above the cut line. So this pole sitting position, 10 point bonus is already a great start to the race. Now we've seen the NCC race race uh, that um, there was a lot of wrecks um, and that, you know, starting first doesn't mean you're gonna finish there. And you know, I think finish is gonna be very important here today. It's for a lot of drivers, um, not so much leading laps, but I think just cut and third likes of gaming, uh, definitely ones to watch when it comes to that. Third in Alexa Gaming, currently third in points, only five points ahead of Burr right now, who's third in fifth. Uh, he was looking to get some points gained today on the points. Leaders, Joy Paints and Barry Thurston the third. Joy Paints currently uh, leading that by quite a bit. Um, and they're still starting close to each other. I'm not sure if you can see him there, but they are there. Starting third is Roberts Crown Jr. He is uh, actually a 20th in standing, so he's in, doing his swing and his level starting third. Just announced he's starting a new team next season. He's already got three drivers signed on. Uh, both cup drivers are already racing this season. And then talked about Bird, who's fourth in points. And NH is uh, fifth in points, not too far back either. And Dale Paul's Jr. has been fairly, he's just been consistent enough to stay where he's at. Uh, and six in standings, he started in, in, barely inside the top ten. And Martin Thurston is still trying to stay consistent as he can, but other than that, not much. So, yeah, I'm um, due to the like transitioning and stuff. Uh, using this for, I'm using a new computer for this race. Um, I, I just don't really want to put too much time into editing the video, so I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just gonna post it on YouTube, so you will you won't see any of the lower third graphics I've been usually doing in this specific race. Um, if you did enjoy those though, uh, please comment below and uh, or like, subscribe I guess. But yeah, get a little feedback. F any feedback is helpful for when it comes to broadcast. You may consider using tickers with OBS since this one I'm using to record it. Also, I will be soloing this. Um, first one I've soloed this season so it shouldn't go too bad. Um, yeah, it's just late in the race, late in the day when I started recording this. I didn't want to like wake up anybody and try to see if anyone was wanting to. So, figured it would not be the smartest idea to ping people about that. So, decided against it. Um, nothing really too out of pocket I'm seeing up here, but key takeaways from the NCCRS race. Uh, that race was fairly a wreck fest. The racing was decent when there wasn't under yellow. This race shouldn't be like that. Again, I did tests. And the cup physics are a little bit more light on the on that, so there shouldn't be much of an issue. Uh, however, we may see uh, the ability to pass for the lead, specifically the lead, maybe a little more difficult, but we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, Jessica definitely uh, with a fair advantage. Thornton likes the gaming also, he's one to watch. If he can get some laps led, definitely a threat for the points lead fairly soon if he can keep some consistency going with doing so. Um, and Bratherine, who's been barely below the cut line right now, has just not been consistent. He could have a good points day as well. Bert Crown Jr. has gotten at least two wins in every season he's ran. Hoping to get that trend continuing as we're about to go to the call to the green flag. Or whatever. Drivers, start your engines. Also, you will notice that, he, uh, that uh, the standings graphics can be different. Again, transitioning from computers. I don't actually plan on switching the U back to the old UI. 
but uh, the only thing that's really kind of wanted making me want to right now is because of the placement I liked it better on the left side compared to the right so that's my only pet peeve there but we'll see how it goes through this race and NCCRS at uh, New Hampshire green flag in the air Jessica with a very good start and we'll solidify our first starting position I think there was a little bit of a Hoots playing there with her and likes the game or that or he just did not get a good start nonetheless Jessica to the point and can k racing looking to sweep the chicago land races and i think if they can keep it clean it's possible and hopefully they don't go five wide in the back like they were in the ncrs race it looks like they're keeping it four wide in the maximum so i'm trying to understand getting accurate reading in the top 10 jeff jordan top 10th uh, player now he really needs that good <laughs> Zevil and Evan H continuing their good runs uh, after a uh, top 10 finish from both drivers at Kansas last week. Evan H putting on the aggressive side trying to get around Daniel Pulse Jr. He's trying to get some good stuff going. Oh, Bradley Jr. Very aggressive move trying to get below the 45. Ooh, slides him up the track just a little bit. I don't think he's going to. Well. I was going to say he didn't like how he's going to complete the pass, but that appears to be contrary. Is Burr going to go three wide for that spot? Is Devil's going to fall back? They clearly hit their mark. Looks like they're going, to have to, they're going to have to really work their way to get some passes done. As Bradley Ream was successful in that pass for fourth, he's going to try to see if he can catch the 21s. The 21s are going to try to go underneath the 20. I don't know if that's going to work either. But the 21 has been fairly well in raw pace. He just hasn't really been able to pick it up really. Uh, again, next-gen car is it's really all there is to say. Don Control as a team has been fairly consistent. Roberto has definitely been the more consistent of those drivers. Uh, him and Drone Chick 81 both been really solid all season long as the 20 is about to fall to the 21. I don't believe the 20 is quite as quick because the 88 is able to actually pull away. Um, a little bit here is the 88 may just be faster, which nothing wrong with that. We got a faster car, and I don't mean to go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to see that top lane maybe starting to pick up a little bit more than what it was before as Ballerine. Maybe trying to pick up that third place spot as Bird did not uh, capitalize underneath him. And he's still trying back there as well for, I believe, uh, seventh. You know, he's actually trying to defend eighth place. Trying. Yeah, that 20 car is starting to find some speed too. Better that 21, 28. Side the side oh, 45 into the wall off of four. The team cut it close. As a 20 is catching the 88 ever so slightly. Jonah Bird's trying to crack the top 10. He's been again fairly consistent. Uh, Kansas. Um, almost got a top 10. Not quite there. Let's see how it goes. Top 5, I believe, is filed out. Zelda trying to get underneath the 18th or 6th. Zelda had a really great race today. Looking to get a repeat top 10. I definitely use it. Third lane. Oh, and we are under caution. I've seen some cars in the back crashing. I believe the 30. Don't know what happened there. Let's to go ahead and go to the line here. Concern I do have, I didn't see it in the NC service race, but jumping the starts, we've seen Jessica get a really good start there. That I did not really think. 40 is six laps down, may have had a mechanical failure. We're going to have to see what happened here in turn one in our first caution of the race, and it looks like a big one too. Uh, lap nine. I don't believe any of these cars were involved. And it looks like the nine. Uh, oh, the 121. No, uh, that Jonah Birch, who was just inside the top 10, didn't need this. Man, he cannot catch a break. Unfortunate. Man, I cannot stress how much that's going to suck for him. Uh, let's go slow now. All right, let's see. Oh, 64, Jacob Shangle right in the back of the 23 in the middle of the corner. Oh, and this was right in, like, 11th place. Geff Jordan barely able to avoid. Hard hit for the 121. 
64 inch 23 uh, is 21 coming down I mean 64 is coming down we gotta watch for guys coming down too because and people trying to avoid I mean there's course slope on the top where do you go not holding their line very great uh, uh, let's see you gotta avoid uh, the 64 is able to avoid 13 76 9 uh, that's unfortunate yeah, 13 was doing really good too. 9, 64, 91 is Chef Squid, who was right there at the cut line. 99, a 9, he just had a really great finish last race. So let's see, why did that happen? Oh, 64 just. I don't really have an excuse for that. 64 just straight up went down on the track. Again, I get it in our AI, but man, that was. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um. Oh well, Jessica going to get the laps led though. This is going to be some great points for Jessica. We're going to go back and actually take a look at what happened to the 40. Um, oh, I don't have my chat open up. Oh, I'm going to have to turn that on. didn't realize that. Um, so out of the race is the 23, 121, and 64. And seeing I neglected to turn on my chat, um, there will not be any manual DNFs. Uh, so if someone's like really slow, comes to the front of the pack, blocks them, nothing I can do because I forgot to turn on the chat. And I can't lower the pace laps either. Oh well, shouldn't be too much of a hindrance. I still have my EXC. So let's see what happened to Kazo. So apparently, uh, man, he, was, he didn't need this either. A lot of guys here are looking really good. Just got, man, that sucks. He, was, he started in the top 10 too. What happened? So this is on lap one. We should start the race. We didn't see him up there after the race. Oh man, I just realized if the 20 jumps to start, I won't be able to penalize him either. So, um, I just I want to do something about it. I really can't if the 20 jumps to start on this next restart, which I don't know if he will or not. I hope he don't. I figure he wouldn't. Because he, I didn't see it in the NCCRS race, so maybe they wouldn't do it in the Cup Physics. I'm hoping, so I'm off to hope for that. But Dodge is in the like, four or five, four of the top five cars are Dodge right now, it's, which is pretty interesting. Jessica right now, this looks like I have a really faster car, which we really haven't seen a lot lately. This faster car being able to run and keep that lead, that 20 car maybe have a long run advantage. If we can get one, this race is 41 laps. If that's our one yellow, uh, with a 10 lap run, I think if he could have caught, if he had a 15 lap run, he may have been able to caught that 88 car. I don't know. We'll have to see. But they're going to double up here, and we'll figure it out. Um, I'm really seeing too many interesting names in the top 10. Just you know, Paul's able. To, he's had, despite not having a lot of top tens consecutively as of late. He's been, he's been getting top 15s consecutively, which has been consistent enough to keep him in the in the ball game fairly comfortably in the playoffs. Um, in fact, I would say he's fairly locked in. We'll see. And Jeff Jordan with this top 10 run definitely needs it, and so does uh, Pure Evan, who is currently tied for last in standings with Lethal Mourner, who Lethal Mourner, again, not have a, just hasn't had the speed at all. So we'll see how that goes. Shy Bracing. Definitely having an off season is uh, Dripsy. I'm not gonna be dead honest. Uh, Dripsy and uh, Ricky Freeman Jr. are the only two on that team that have been very quick. And then the 44 is just not having it. And then the course of the three car leaving the server is a two car up front off iteration. But 54 just got to win last race. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not even gonna try to get a hold of this. I'm concerned, but like, yeah, man, we'll see. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully this restart is clean and no one jumps it. Ah, uh, he did, but it would be legal. It's legal. Barely, barely, but it's legal. Go back to live coverage. Again, that's not do that even if it wasn't legal, but it was barely legal. I, I, he's, he's on. If I hold my chat, I'll give you information. Definitely, like, keep an eye out for him. 
But this is a good lap slip for both drivers, honestly. Um, they're both in a really good spot where they can gain good points to really solidify a certain area in the standings that would be a good day for them right now. More power to both of them. As Birch Crown Jr., I, I feel he has gotten two wins in every season he's ran in this league. Uh, last year, uh, uh, two of them came in a row. Oh, 54 hard in the wall in the back. Of Dripsy, who just won last race, could go for back-to-back -to -back top tens here. Uh, well, considering they just slammed the wall, it's not looking as bright, but uh, they were really aggressive. Nice. 54 car specifically. The seven car going four wide in the corner. I want to see how bad this goes. Just wisely backs out of it, so is Ray Jordan. Keep in mind, it's like 20th so place right now. Ooh, a few cars hit the wall there. And yeah, I gotta want to watch that 21 car because he's been just under the radar, but there all seasons. That 88 has got that short run speed for sure. And passing her on the bottom, I don't think it's really easy. I don't think it's the right move either. Let's see if it works. Might backfire with Bird, though. Bird's going to also join that brigade on the bottom. I think this may actually work for the 88. They've got such good short run speed, they are able to pass. And that 18, see if he... Oh, he bird drafts up. That's going to get that. Oh, and we are under yellow now. As we are racing to the line for the yellow 18, getting it around the uh, 88. 17 potentially as well as the 23rd once again. Gonna lead him to the caution as they wrecked in the front straight. Oh, that's a nasty one too. Leave the uh, 71 involved. Yeah, 71 is involved. So is a 91. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's a nasty, nasty wreck. The 91 just got involved in that first wreck. See what happened here. Uh, k, k Racing was doing good for... This was in 31st. The 03 Brandon Nelson, who's... Been, had a roller coaster season, but not when it comes to points. So, well, 70... Yeah, 03 just... Man. Slid up. Nowhere if 71 could go. And when you're spinning out, you don't have control of that race car. And that 91 was already so damaged... I mean, this might have just pruned him out of the race. And not much he could have done there. Oh, that's going to be a hard lick. Oh. Here comes that 9 car, but I think he'll be all right. That 91's done. 71 likely as well. Unfortunate. Just can't catch a break. <laughs> that can be said for a lot of cars today, specifically. So... Uh, yeah. Bird is in third. That's interesting. So, with that, the, uh, I believe the, uh, 91 and 71 are now out of the race. The 9, uh, getting a little lucky there. So, again, we're gonna have to watch runs here because that 88 just could not capitalize on the bottom lane. That top lane is just the place to be. I think Roberto Crown's got this start. Um, again, trying to keep his two wins a season streak active right now and um you know i think uh he, he i think he'd do it i know it's, it's not even halfway through the season yet but just we're seeing so much speed out of that car like man i'm surprised we haven't seen it sooner kind of thing but we haven't so interesting is that the, the entire uh dawn patrol racing team 42 right there 81 not too far outside the top 15. 77 also up here as well, trying to gain points for their points lead. Just didn't grow last race, but it looks like it's going to grow this race. That last race had a really weird draft to it, but this one doesn't. So, only one I'm not seeing up here is 24, who uh, not having a great race right now. So, well, yeah, no, not having a great race. They've been able to avoid the wrecks, but track position is so important and they don't have it so they're going to need something to change or they're just not going to have a good finish today and it's not going to help them in standings either again can't really skip forward the cautions because this is the hopefully the only, one and only race I forgot to turn on my chat button or I didn't have it on because I switched new um, computers so that's the reason for that um, we're going to be going green 
probably a little bit after halfway. Again, Dodge as a manufacturer has led the entire race so far. Two Chevys have interrupted the brigade along with uh, still more Dodges to follow. Ford has not had a very stellar season. I take that back, actually. They've actually had a better season this year and last year, I believe, at this point, but still. I don't know, I'd have to check the manufacturer's standings, but the only highest running one is the 22. Pontiac's such a small operation, you can't really put them in a category. Despite that, they're very triumphant this season with leading the points with Joy Paints and having three wins. And Garcia Almander, Caso being very close to success, just can't find it. And then Garcia Almander's just been under the radar, but I believe he, if he can get that consistency going enough, he'll be... Uh, Around a 16 contender, maybe. I don't think he's championship tier at all this season, actually. But he's running subpar 20th, so he's not going to have a really great points day today. So, unfortunate. We'll see how it goes for him. But Jessica, so far, with good points day. Really good, actually. And third and Lexus looking to repeat. And he's going to edge pretty close to the points lead if he keeps this run going. Up front. And the reverse crown here, also, same spot. In fact, uh, the entire top seven are inside the round 16 in standings right now, and that is just a little under half, which is very interesting. And then Jeff Jordan, who's not quite there, probably lowest performing of his team. Well, actually, Dark X Rain, but Dark X Rain just kind of under a slump right now. It was very consistent at the beginning of the season. Um, I'll have to watch them, and then still both of the pure motorsports cars, ninth and 10th right now. Running very, very, very well, and Joy Paints just outside the top ten, trying to get their uh, top ten. Uh, they have those top tens this season. They look to continue that uh, today, just outside of it in the eleventh. Hopefully, this restart goes clean. Ah, uh, twenty one's looking good, but no, the twenty, the twenty one will play it clean. But we'll maybe have the smarter decision here, nonetheless. Not initially taking the lead, but taking the top lane. Oh, it's really hard to complete this pass for either driver. The top lane's important. You know, 21, hold that 20 car down, take this lead. Ah, try oval. It's going to be hard. Seven's got to run on the back, three wide in the back. Ah, 21. Ah, oh, he's looking good, he's looking good. 88 of Jessica trying to take second. Someone hit the wall in the back. I'm not sure if that warning the yellow or not. But Jessica and the 21 up front now. Still green. They are very aggressive. They're 48 in the wall. Not a weeb who has been fairly consistent. Uh, really, nothing, nothing, less, nothing, nothing less of it. 88 trying to get a run on the 21. Jessica being a rookie doesn't quite have the. Because learn the hard way, the bottom does not work. They may try to keep trying to make it work. Riley Rim trying to go on the 20 there. This is not easy, but it's, it's fairly possible. 11 corner wall. Ooh, almost spun out there. The 22 of Daniel Paulus, he will lift and lose quite a bit of track position, unfortunately. He's just inside the top 10. We're starting to see some pull away here, which I expected, honestly. If we can get a green run here, it's going to be a... I think, we're, I think we're in for a good finish if we can go green to the end. And I guess Jordan from 7th is up to 4th place. Um, I'm curious to see... Uh, oh, there's Lethal Mortar. I didn't mean to go to him. I am curious to see where's that 42 on fastest laps, because he has been rocketing today. That one knife, but... He's got faster laps than everyone in front of him right now, so. He is on a rocket right now. He has not really been top five at all, all season, and this is definitely a great race to do it. We're seeing, starting to see the faster cars make their ways around the 21. I'm not sure what kind of car he has. Um, again, we talked about him. Oh, a spin in the back. We are under yellow again. As a 21. I don't believe we've made it to the yellow flag yet. But the 21 is going to 
lead us to the yellows. There is a very bad brick on the front straight. I believe the 24 of Dark Inferno was involved in that. Or was close to it anyway. Oh, the 54. The 54 is in... I'm not surprised to see this. He's been really having a rough race. Um, this doesn't make it any better. Oh, and the 97. 97 has been causing a lot of wrecks. Oh, and Barney throws to third. What do they do? They run out of room? Yeah, four wide ain't going to work. Go slow-mo. Yeah, 59 got in the wall. Trying to get the 54 room. Didn't have it. 54 got into the side. 97 nowhere to go. Sean Ard. Nice save by Sean. 603 44 10 in the grass wise trying to avoid oh man close by Eli the Wolf and Reggie Fogelman to avoid that they both are successful I believe this is just a single car accident pretty much uh, I think you can keep it going so single car accident these guys are racing really really hard right now uh, it's just really didn't want to see that, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and go to our pit lane cam. I'm going to turn on our overtime. I don't know if we're going to be using overtime, but I'm going to turn it on just in case. Now, we haven't really had to enforce any of the rules we usually have to enforce with the chat button. Except for maybe that restart the 20 car, uh, arguably... Uh, rigged for himself, but again, I don't believe it was enough to put a penalty on. But yeah, interesting to see Gef Jordan up here. Both the uh, Dawn Patrol cars that are in the top 10 are running really great right now. Evan back inside the top 10 after that mishap in the wall. Both pure cars still inside the top 10, and they got uh, two real fan cars. The 76 and 9 have been involved in wrecks, otherwise, I think they'd probably be running fairly the same. Didn't qualify as well, though. Maybe not. So, I'm just curious to see how the other pure, uh, or, uh, Dawn Patrol cars are faring. I know the 24 is just not really running up front right now. And then the 81, he's just actually uh, just outside the top 10. So, German Chick. And German Chick's actually really good, decent in standings right now. Around a 16 tier right now. So, uh, Gift Jordan with this good run uh, could definitely put him closer to a Dark X Rain. Uh, um, opposite from the beginning of the season is um, not faring his greatest right now. And unfortunately, DNFs. Uh, J man, Jonah not kind of right. Some of these guys are DNF. I feel so bad for him. 76 is out of the race, by the way. Man, I just all those guys at DNF did not need that. None of them. They they were all doing. Ah oh, man, it really sucks for Jonah too because it happened last season where he was. Running while the standings and then just started to have a streak of bad finishes and it went downhill. This is, he's just been fast, but he's just, he was running top 10 when he wrecked and he just can't avoid trouble. It's unfortunate. Bert Crown Jr., though, looking really good to win this race. If you don't win the race, definitely a good lap led run. The entire top three right now looking good for a good points day. And Jeff Jordan, uh, I got my eye on him. <laughs> say that much. I think the Dawn Patrol cars right now have a. Really good setup, and then Dodge as a manufacturer definitely has a good setup for today. Pure Motorsports has also been, they found something, they, and you just find a little bit more of it to be up front. Both those cars have been really good right now. Uh, top 10, and Joy Paints with her con usual consistency, and then German Chicken, you want to do the same just outside the top 10. Both those cars are they usually find each other on the track fairly, fairly easily. As uh, both their first wins, they were both. Uh, within five positions of each other of their finish and their first wins, which uh, back when they were teammates uh, in the NR anyway, Joe Paints won a few races back before this was in our league, but yeah, Joe Paints is really good for, uh, I'll take a look at the all-time wins list once I update that after this season. We're going to double it up here, hopefully our one in the last restart, if not, I think we would see an overtime. Again, I can't lower pace laps either, so that's uh, a little bit of a bummer. And Dan Paul's looking for a top 10. Hasn't really gotten those lately, so he could use one. And NH has definitely been under the radar getting top 10 every race. He's definitely, uh, I'd say he's a threat for the championship right now in that 17 car, so keep an eye on him. That Railfan Motorsports number 17. 
So hopefully Jessica keeps this restart clean. They technically uh, should deserve the lead because they lost it. But I wouldn't. I'm not gonna like say they deserve a jump to start. But hope they don't. That's really my one concern. Ah, uh, they jumped it. It's good the line. Oh, they were, they're good. Yeah. They, didn't, they weren't even a length there, so. TB2, 42 of uh, Jeff Jordan up front. <laughs> right here, three wide right now. TB2. As Jessica may have just checked out for the win here. Let's we'll see. Is it 42? Yeah. Nice. Win right now. We'll keep it TB2. It looks looking pretty good right now. I like this. 77 Enjoy paints has cracked the top 10 as of last lap. And they are climbing. 81 of Drummer Chick 81 going three wide for that spot. I wouldn't wreck yourselves out with both those cars really fast. Oh, that's gonna that's really actually slowing down. Oh, the 11 in the wall hard again. They cannot avoid that wall. Oh my gosh, we go back to TV one. This is too crazy. This is a great race in here, in my opinion. 18 and 81 starting to fall back a little bit. That yeah, battle for that 10th place spot is really tight right now. A 51 car even in it. Oh man, that's going to be. I hope they don't wreck for that spot because it looks like they're, they're willing to. Oh, that 45 on the wall. Ooh, 32. Almost 82. Going crazy there. And Jessica trying to check out for the women. Jeff Jordan has a run. So does the Bird Crown Jr. Oh, Jeff has a really great run here. Oh, not quite. Two rookies right now. This would... We have only had one rookie winner this season. We got two rookies right now battling for it. One, two right now. This would be very good for the uh, rookie of your battle. This would put Jessica in prime position for it. Because Sean Art is right there. And we are under yellow again as a crash has happened in the front stretch. Man, that I, I was going to say it. Those cars that were battling for 10th. I think, well, no. Let's see, who was behind? So this is, there's a third. So this happened way in the back. Oh, the 97. Man, he's, all these guys having rough races just getting more and more rough. There's Roach. who hasn't really having a good race either. And Exo just hit the wall recently. Yeah, Exo just ran out of real estate. Four wide in a corner didn't work. Go helicopter. Yep. Just simply uh, 32 ran out of real estate. 97 also a little bit. Kind of nowhere to go. 66. I mean, you don't expect that 32 to run out of real estate until he actually does. Ah, man. That's a tough wreck for those guys. Go full speed. Ah, man. That 9 car has just been picking up spots after these wrecks. I think everyone was able to continue after that. That 9 car has just been sitting there just really avoiding wrecks and trying to finish the race. Really all they can do is so much damage that they have. So I believe we are going to go to overtime. This restart is going to be crucial. I am very hope. I'm hoping a lot there. No one jumps to start. Um, again, Jessica did jump that last restart, but man, she's got two Dom Patrol cars right behind her. Man, it's going to be one heck of a restart because Jeff Jordan definitely has a faster car, but can he? He's definitely seen short runs been important. Jessica's been stellar on that. KK looking to sweep the Chicago Land races. Bobby Isaac's out of the race. Surprisingly, with how many wrecks we've had, not a lot of DNFs. I don't. I wouldn't, per, I wouldn't wholly blame that on not having a, a chat button either. I haven't really found a point where I needed to use it 100%, except for like lowering pace laps, and that's about it. 97 is the last running car. It might be the 9 car here in a bit, but everyone's been running up pace enough, and we're not going to have to give out any DQs because uh, there's only going to be two laps left. So, um, Joy Payne's in the top 10, looking for another top 10. NH up to 5th. 
it's all it's a dog fight these guys are really wanting this is the track a lot of these guys can feel like they can win it's going a little bit too too overzealous they went they went really clean in the beginning of the race as the race went on they just started getting more and more aggressive and just kept running out of real estate four wide does not work in the corners whereas ncc or sf five wide was their issue but still um Dawn Patrol, I think, right now is cooking a strategy. Jessica's a sitting duck right now. Um, unless she can get that that golden restart, not to jump it. Uh, Geff has really not been has been really been known for being a more laid back driver. Ground Junior also proved that. These uh, Dawn Patrol cars, they run them two three right now. Uh, they haven't got a win yet this season. As a team, it's a new team, and. Uh, this would be one place to get it, and then rookie of the year battle is this, this is it right here. Two rookies, one two. Uh, there's only been one rookie winner, and that was Sean Ard, and he is. I'm, I'm surprised he's not running better. 19th. I mean, that's not a great day, but keep him in decent contention for rookie of the year if someone wins this race. Uh, really, not much else to say. The third likes of gaming looking good. A lot of these guys looking good right now. Man, it's going to be one very interesting uh, finish here. I'm just really hoping no one jumps the start. I'm actually going to go helicopter. I mean, there's nothing I can do if the start is jumped. So this race will be extended by two laps. Or one lap, actually. If we can stay green for two. If not, we'll wreck them back up. Try again. But I think one attempt is all we're going to need. And once that white flag is out, the race is over. If there is another flag. And the next race, uh, once they cross uh, the white flag, the next, the, once they cross the line again, it's over. Because they race to the line for uh, cautions in this series. And the reason, there's two reasons I do that. Well, one's counterintuitive, but I feel like it's more effective. <clears throat> so this could be our final restart uh, again just a single guy booth right now don't have any thoughts to get for anyone else but this is going to be interesting Jeff Jordan 42 Sunny D won a race last year Watkins Glen this would not be his first career win but it would be a win for rookie of the year standings Jessica, this would be a first group one if she can get it. Uh, Gif Jordan jumped to start, but uh, he was able to keep it clean enough for it to be not only legal, possibly morally correct. Uh, 88 moves the 42 up. 18 a bird trying up here as well. Uh, that 42's got the run. Can the 88 capitalize? I don't think so. Can the 18 capitalize? I think he will. Oh, he's up the track a ton. May not be the right strategy from the 88 slide down. No, 18 dive bombs. Ah, 88 blocks. One lap to go. Next one is the race. Jeff Jordan in the 42 looking for his first win on a stellar restart. Not his first win, but his first win of the season. Second, first one is a new on this team. Well, kind of. Yeah, he's he will lead rookie of the year standings. For, he'll. He needs this way. <laughs> he will get it off of four. Jessica coming home second, though. Really good race for Jessica. Had a stellar race. Probably gets most lap sled. Jessica definitely had the better car, but man, 42 was just able to get it on that restart. And you've been talking about him. Watch that 42. And we did. And he pulled it off. And I'm not going to say too much here since it's just me, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bird getting third. Uh, third and Lux Gaming getting sixth. I do believe he will stay third or do better in standings than third. The 20 car will. Um, the lap timer there on the laps is saying it's going to be 45, but that's just a glitch. The race is actually over. Uh, Birch Crown Jr., good finish. That's going to help his standings. Doesn't quite get that win, but he's still looking good. Bradley Ream at the top five. Hasn't seen a lot of those this season. It's definitely fairly come back. He has, he's, he's won at Indianapolis, but he's not shown the speed he did in 2021. 
uh, in NH also was a top 10. Uh, Diana Paul's in the top 10, and m &H was able to hold a 9th, but and like that, Zevil just could not keep it in. He finished 16th, and then Brian Thrush, they're fairly consistent enough, but that 77 is just able to one-up him almost every week, and then German Chicks just barely outside the top 10, and a few other guys who had a fairly good finish inside the top 15, and unfortunate for the guys that didn't finish, uh, it was quite a lot, but the 9 was able to finish after, I believe, only being involved in that first wreck, and the, some of those other wrecks were just and it's run out of real estate, but it happens, so uh, really, nothing else much to say. Um, I know NCCRS is going in, in New Hampshire next race, so sure stay tuned for that. Again, no editing this race, because transitioning, I'll have that for next race, and uh, other than that, uh, congratulations to Geff Jordan on his first one of the season, and we'll see you next race. I don't think it's at New Hampshire, but it might be. But I know the next... Uh, race on on this YouTube channel is going to be uh, New Hampshire and the NCCRS.